Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulous Project Zomboid, episode 60, 60 lives, or 60 lives, 60 episodes deep of the same life. That is definitely a record for me as I've said plenty of times before and I hope you all have a great day today. I know I should be, I'd be doing a lot of work today, that's the plan anyway, and uh, there's a lot to talk about. So our objective this episode, as I like to start off, is to... Headed back into the city. There's two things I'm looking for. Still looking for the expert carpentry book. And I'm also looking for a sledgehammer. And you all yelled at me last episode that I missed a sledgehammer that was going to be sitting directly on... Or should have been sitting directly on a shelf in the hardware store. So that's where I'm going to end up going. I probably ended up passing it up accidentally. It was not on purpose whatsoever. I just kind of got taken up with the direction of the conversation that I had yesterday, which is something I want to talk about. Um, yesterday's conversation, I'm actually very happy I brought up because there was a lot of people who, of course, are sitting on both sides. The majority seem to be very happy that multiplayer is coming in, which I expected, and multiplayer is something that a lot of people are, wa are wanting. Um, one thing I never really kind of thought about, and it's just a side effect of looking from the outside in, and I'm sure developers of all kinds have to kind of go through this, and Indie Stone is no different, is that when when we as people are looking from the outside in and you know criticizing these devs there's one thing we don't really talk about and that is the idea of burnout to work on one thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again can really burn a person out and diminish their creativity and even cause problems trying to fix problems i know you know mental block is a big problem when it comes to all kinds of different arts and chris uh lemmy 101 for those of you who follow him on twitter has left an amazingly expl expl explanation on the comment section of episode 59 that, you know, really clarified a lot of stuff and, of course, called me out on the points where I, you know, just didn't quite understand or maybe was making irrational complaints and whatnot. Um, he, but he did go so far as to say that I made fair points as well, which is really important that both sides, you know, understand where both sides are coming from. And keep in mind, there was no argument there at all. That We weren't arguing, I wasn't yelling, you know, none of us are mad at each other, which I think... Uh, or I worry that a lot of people think was happening, <laughs> but it wasn't. But I'm very happy I brought it up for the mere fact that it, that it brought up constructive conversation. One of the biggest problems that were happening on the forums is that conversation or constructive conversation wasn't really happening. Um, the only people who were talking about it were just kind of yelling at the developers and weren't really bringing up points in a calm, meaningful manner. Uh, sure, again, as I said before, it's totally okay to say you're disappointed, and that's something that is to be expected, you know, no matter what is going to be announced, you're going to end up disappointing one side of the fence or the other, that's just part of development, uh, you have to kind of choose one when you decide what's going to go out first or not, um, but to bring, it's fine to be, to, to be disappointed, but you want to bring it up and talk about it in a calm manner. Which is important, because at the end of the day, we're going to get all of these features, right? We're going to get multiplayer, we're going to get NPCs, it's all going to be in the game at the end of the day, and we'll have all of it, and we'll all live happily ever after. It's just the downside of working, or buying into early access games, is that you don't get those features right away, and you're going to hotly anticipate them, and when one ends up coming out before another, you know, it's just going to be the way it is. And if all this was being developed behind closed doors, none of us would even know that multiplayer was coming out first. Um, but that's just how it is. But I'm very happy, the conversations were great. Uh, a lot of people made a lot of great points, and um, generally I'm happy to see my comment section of my community has been, or is very, very calm and rational thinking and logical when it comes to certain things. So, big thumbs up. I love you guys a ton, and I wouldn't have any other community. I'd rather, I would rather die than have another community other than you guys. You guys are awesome people. And to be able to stay calm and have rational conversations with the developers right there, and not just point fingers and say, you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong is a testament to what kind of cool people you guys have become over time. Uh, and I want to make I want to point out that I am still very excited for multiplayer. Um, I'm excited because <coughs> um, I, I'm not going to be playing with my friends, I'm going to be playing with my community, and God knows my community isn't all that trustworthy. So I will, you know, I have to worry about what kind of people I'm playing with. Uh, and I'm excited to get my hands on and do a video with the developers and talk about you know, the cool upsides and downsides of working on multiplayer and what unique things are gonna, they hope are gonna spring out of this multiplayer uh, thing that they are introducing to the game. So, uh, very cool videos along the way that are coming. So, to be, be excited for that stuff. As well as um, some cool mod stuff. So, one of the things that Lemmy tweeted out today was a cool mod thing that, that a person is working on, a fan of the game has been working on. It's called the Erosion Mod. And the Erosion Mod, what it does is that over time, plants start to grow 
roads start to crack. Eventually, buildings will start to have cracks, and windows will be broken, and ivy and stuff starts climbing over buildings and stuff. And the first playable alpha vision, alpha version of that of that mod is officially out. And I'm looking forward to maybe getting my hands on it, and hopefully getting it up there on my mod spotlight, which actually, you know, fingers crossed, is actually coming this coming Monday, my first episode. I'm very excited. Um, it, my mod, my mod day will be attached to my Mundoid, so Moddoid will be attached to Mundoid, and uh, hopefully that'll give people a lot uh, a reason to actually check out Mundoid other than the news updates. So uh, very excited about that. All right, so back to the hardware store is what we're looking for. Um, we have to hopefully grab what we left behind. Um, I just gotta find out where it is. Mendy's Eatery, Enigma Books. Uh, RB Madden's, uh, Doctor, Value Assurance, oh god, where was, I gotta find it, where was the hardware store? I can get into the city, just where particular buildings are, that kind of escapes me still. I don't know exactly where the hardware store and all that stuff was. It's this way, I think. It's gotta be around here, I mean, the city is not all that big, in, in all honesty. There's... I could probably go through it pretty quickly and, and find it with luck. I feel like it might actually be this way and in one of these buildings. I gotta think, gotta think. Uh, is it this right here? I remember going in from the back and there being like a back entrance to it all. Ooh. Is this it right here? Alright, we've got a couple of zombies. I'm going to sneak away. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Just going to keep quiet. As quiet as I can. I think this might be it. What is... Wait, what is this? This isn't it. I don't even know what this is. Um, They're all back there, obviously. And i got to be careful about that. This is not it. But I will check it for books. Or a carpentry book. It's like a veteran, or like a veterans meetup, something or other. All right, let's just get out of here. Just want to get out. I feel trapped in there. I don't. I don't know. I don't feel safe in there. Um, let's go ahead and try to enter the, from the front. So it looks like most of the horde is actually behind these buildings. So we'll definitely approach from the front and see if we can find it over here. I feel like we're coming up to it. I feel like it might actually be this building we're right here. It is. I think. I think it is. This looks like it to me. So there's supposedly a sledgehammer on these shelves. Not a regular. We're going to take the crowbar because I'm told that the crowbar should work as well. Need to be very, very careful. You can hear banging. They're obviously at a door. But it sounds like only one. Alright, good. We're getting a little hungry. We're going to take the... Uh, let's see if we can find the sledgehammer first. I'm not seeing it. Even though you guys said it was here. Maybe it's on, on these shelves? Where, oh where, is this supposed sledgehammer? Alright, I'm nervous. I can hear... I can hear them, but I'm not seeing them. I should probably be grabbing the duct tape as well. Glue, let's go ahead and grab the glue. Let's start grabbing all the stuff we need. Wood glue. Because this is going to be used for prepare, uh, repairs and stuff. Okay, all right. Where? Oh, I don't like that noise. Got to be careful. They're probably behind that door right there. I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing the sledgehammer you guys are talking about. Ooh, that is nasty sounding. Um. Hopefully the crowbar will work. I'm told the crowbar will work. But I'm not sure if that's only with a mod. I don't know if they exactly implemented that. Alright, let's check all these sh these over here. No. No. I'm kind of staying a little quiet, too, because I want to keep an ear out. In case a door breaks, a window breaks, any of that good stuff. I don't want to get caught. In a bad spot. Nothing. I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing it. Is there any more? Oop, and here's some thunder. The question is, what are we looking at as far as zombies back here? Whoop! Alright, um... 
How many? How many are we looking at? Alright, we got one down. We got still two. Alright, we've got three more. Oh, I don't want to get myself caught. I might have just let in the, the fucking flood. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, no sledgehammer. Let's get out. Let's go to Twiggy's. Let's see if we can pop it open with a crowbar. I accept that if I could do that. I'm also getting a little hungry, so my character's going to start getting weak here. And like an idiot, I actually didn't bring any food. Try to avoid going through the thick of the zombies here. Um, I actually might go home, eat something first, then we'll make our way over to Twiggy's. Let's get some food in our stomach, because I don't want to end up getting slowed down uh, prior to getting there. Now, granted, I only dropped my strength on the 7 right away, which will still be enough. But the more hungry I get, the lower my strength's going to get, and the, the less I can carry, so... Opening up that door might have been a bad idea, but I didn't see anything that was worth grabbing, so... No sledgehammer, just a crowbar. Unless you guys are talking about a different building. But when you say hardware store, I think that hardware store, which was over there. I feel like I'm in the, I, I'm in the right... I think I'm in the right building. But I didn't see anything. Because a couple axes there, which is nice. I would like to go back and get those at some point. Might have to bring my shotgun in order to do it, though, and just kind of completely wipe them all out. Which is fine. I mean, it'll give me an excuse to use up all those shotgun shells. But it'll be a two-trip process. Because I'll take one trip to go shoot them all up. And I'll take another trip to um, actually take the actual uh, the actual axes themselves. No, actually, no. I wouldn't need to do that. I could just grab the axes then. I would have plenty of space. Yeah, I would have plenty of space. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know what I was thinking, actually, right there. Alright, let's go. Double layer of doors. Let's go ahead and through. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and eat, and then we'll head over to Twiggy's, which should be too bad of a walk. Now, let's hope the crowbar works. Fingers crossed that it will. I'm really hoping it's going to. We'll have a cheese sandwich, and we'll grab one more, just to bring with us. Go ahead and drag that in the bag. Alright, let's do this. And move on out. Alright. So that wasn't bad. Um, the horde is, is pretty predictable. They haven't really moved, which is surprising. Um, they seem to, when I go over, they seem to be in the generally the same area, which is, again, surprising because the, the metagame shots and gunshots, I'm not sure if they actually reach over there or if they only stay near me. So, unless the metagame shots actually happen while I'm over there, I'm not entirely sure they actually move. So they're in a very decent area. In fact, if I wanted to get really risky but kind of creative... I could start building a wall around them and containing them inside. I don't know how long it would last because they would be able to destroy the wall at some point. Um, and they probably would attack me before I actually was able to finish it. But it's something that I might actually want to try at some point. That sounds like a lot of fun and it could work nicely. If it, it, if it all goes off, of course. That could be a lot of fun, but we'll worry about that another time. I want to finish my tunneling system first and then eventually my walling system. Um, and, of course, I want to start doing stuff with my other secondary safe house... Well, what's my secondary safe house now? What was originally my main safe house? I want to start doing stuff over there. Improving the walls, barricading them up, and, and just start building another a whole separate tunneling system over there to make sure things are good. And just have things kind of working. And my character's finally exhausted to the point where he, couldn't, he had to walk. We'll uh, let him catch his breath. Let's take a look at his skills here. Um, <coughs> how's our sprinting looking? Sprinting, where are you? There you are. Barely at all. Uh, sneaking is actually looking decent. Aiming will probably be the next thing that levels. The only reason I say that... Well, Blunt might. But the reason I say that is because aiming is going to be... Uh, going to kind of skyrocket when I take a shotgun and head over there. We do have a skill point that we gained last session. Um, and we are two months and almost three months fully in. Which is awesome. Um, and over 1,100 zombies have been killed in the process. Alright. So. How is this going to work? I'm curious. Let's go ahead and equip this as our primary. And move the bat. Well, we can just kind of put the bat. Eh, let's put the saw away. The hammer away. How do I get in? See, I don't know if the crowbar actually works. That might be a mod. This would be cool if I could pop it open, but I can't. The funny thing is it looks like a bat. 
I can't get in that way. There's no door over here. There is a there are crates in there. Yeah, I need a sledgehammer, man. I absolutely need a sledgehammer. Okay, back up. Whoa, how did that happen? All right, crowbar doing its job. Man, that's a little disappointing. I'm curious why people said a crowbar would work. I can't actually click on anything right now. Come on. Nope, nothing. Disappointing. We desperately need to get ourselves um, a, a sledgehammer then. All right, well, I guess that's what we're gonna have to be focusing on. Let's take out these three over here. Hey, you never know, they might have a sledgehammer on them. Chances are slim. Wow, he took a lot of hits. All right, let's back up here. Gave ourselves some time to breathe and charge. Oops, zoomed in out a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, smack him down. Down he goes, let's see. Am I lucky enough? No. No. And there's another three over here. One, that crawler's gotta be alive. Yeah, it's alive. Let's go ahead and clear them out. Well, there's actually a good chunk of zombies over here. How am I missing? Maybe it's just because it's a, it's a crowbar? Let's go ahead and pop the bat as our primary for now. It has a bit more of a reach, I think, than the crowbar does. Yeah, it does. Definitely does. The crowbar just doesn't have a good reach. Even though it looks like a bat, its reach is going to be smaller. Surprise that actually worked. No rain, just thunder. It's also strange. We're getting tired, too. We want to get our character to a safe place. I'm just trying to not only clear out these guys for my return, but eventually, you know, or just cross my fingers that I'm going to hit the jackpot and get myself a, uh, a sledgehammer with them. Part of me while I take a sip of my tea. My mouth feels a little dry. Mm-mm. It's a chai tea, too, which is delicious. Hot chai tea, Indian spice. Mm, so delicious. So good. Um, I don't think there's anything in Twiggies that I could end up using. I think we have plenty of time to get back to our house, so let's go ahead and actually go do that instead of sleeping here. We should be... I'd rather... Anytime I have the opportunity to sleep at the house, it's going to be a better decision for us in the long run. Especially with Twiggies having a, you know... Not exactly barricaded up, and any zombie could accidentally bust through anything overnight. And if those uh, those wander over toward me due to rain or what have you, that would be just generally a bad thing. Um, you know, I don't want to touch that black stuff. It's crashed my game in prior builds. Just want to go ahead and run by it. Weird little bug that happens every so often. I'm not sure what causes it, to be honest with you, but I assume it's a memory thing. But I don't know for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and swing up this way and get back home. Really upset. We gotta find ourselves a sledgehammer. I might look at a map um, between, because I haven't used a map in a while here, because I do know my way around a bit better. But I might look at a map just to see if there's any places that would be good to check for a sledgehammer or something. Something that um, would definitely have crates in it that I could go through. The warehouse might be good to go check again. In case I went through it a little too quickly. But I think I covered all my bases when I went to the, to the warehouse. I'm pretty sure I checked all the crates there. But it might be worth a second pass. I mean, I have been known plenty of times to miss things. And have said before, eh, I think I've checked everything here. There's no point, but I might as well anyway. Because you guys want me to. And I've found, you know, an axe or whatever. Or whatever I passed up before. So, uh, it'll be. it might be worth it to go do that. Alright, let's get inside. Close up sh shop. Pass the time to about 8 o'clock, as we always do. There we go. And get our character in bed. And I think I'm going to end up wrapping up this episode here. A little bit shorter than usual, but by a minute or so. But the only reason for that is because I can't really endeavor into anything else in the next minute. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, dropping a like and a comment, as always, really shows your support and supports the series. And if you haven't already, hitting that subscribe button will ensure you get alerted for Daily Project Zomboid, amongst other videos. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.